is his tray the summer he graduated from medical school. Later that week, Charlotte met the head and heart of Trey's family, his mother, Bunny McDougal. Trey, you look so cute in a cap and gown. It's just before we jumped in the fountain and all the hell broke loose. Oh. Cat, mother, what's next? Boy Scout snaps? Count your blessings I didn't bring the one on the bearskin rug. You'll have to excuse her, Charlotte. She's a bit of a camera Nazi. Well, if you insist on dragging us down memory lane, I'm getting a real drink. Excuse me. Uh, Glenn Livett, rocks, please. Yes, sir. Maybe you should have a red wine instead. Better for the heart. All righty. Red wine. Oh, Thomas, we'd love some more of these nibbly cheese things. Very good, ma'am. Thank you. He's older than water, but never forgets a martini. So, do you play tennis? Mm-hmm. I like her. Join the club. <laughs> what are you two lovebirds doing tonight? Mm. We've got dinner reservations at Cloche. I was there last week. Disappointing crab, and the host was rude. Maybe you should go to Coat Basque instead. All righty. Charlotte was impressed with Bunny's technique. Trey had been looking forward to Cloche all week, 